that just always said, lived in Oxford. It's your home town. This is the first place I've been where I feel at home. home. Yeah. Hi, my name's Abana Pasha Griffin, and I am a long-term service user of mental health and care services and have been involved with the CQC for uh, since its beginnings. Hi Cynthia, <laughs> lovely to see you. Hello, I'm Cynthia Bauer and I'm the Chief Executive of the Care Quality Commission. Our job is to make sure all health and social care services meet essential standards of quality and safety and to protect the rights of patients detained under the Mental Health Act. Throughout my career, I try to think about services, the ones I've run or the ones I've looked at and managed and now I'm the regulator of, from the point of view of the person who's using them because it's there to help and support them, it's not there to fulfil some view of mine of what the ideal service should look like. My name is Heather Herford. I work in the part of the Care Quality Commission that monitors the use of the Mental Health Act. I think listening to people who use services is really important in our work uh, because fundamentally it's a reminder of why we exist as an organisation. I first met Abena when I joined uh, the then Mental Health Act Commission as a Mental Health Act Commissioner uh, in my first day of training and she did a presentation about what it's like to be detained under the Mental Health Act which included some of her poetry. The collective presentation had a profound impact on me that has remained with me since then and uh, continues to influence the way I think about the work we do. You bring that particular, as I've said before, human dimension to the methods that we use when we go out and look at services that I don't think we would get in any other way. At the most simple level, what we do only matters in as much as it can talk to people about their experience and hear from people about their experience. So the audience for what CQC has to say, whether it's about the Mental Health Act work we do or the work we do in health and social care more generally, only matters if it makes sense to service users. They recognise their own experience in it. Heather's right when she talks about you bringing credibility to what we do, but you also, to engage users, to have users helping us, and supporting us in making judgments completely changes the way we think about yeah. it. I do what I can, and if I'm persuaded in my heart, it would make a difference. That's what matters. I think it's really important that not only my voice is heard, but as many people as possible who actually can name the services they use and can be experts by experience, not experts at being at meetings. Otherwise, you'll end up with a very narrow group. When people like see me on the Cowley Road, some people I don't really know, they just come up and shake my hand and say, thank you for speaking for us. And I feel quite tearful because it's, you know, it's all right, like chief executives, they might have to compliment you, but people on the street don't. They can spit at you if they want, but they, they sort of compl compliment me and I find that, really moving and when I do go and do my stuff I carry their voices with me I remember things people say I'm pleased to be involved and to be enabled to be involved and to be supported I'm involved in the service user reference panel which is CERT for short but it always makes me laugh because when I'm over medicated it's more like slurp <laughs> We were talking to patients who were really quite confused about what was going to happen to them next and they'd been in the system for a very long time and what you said was they've lost their own narrative. Yeah. They've lost their own narrative of their life story and it was just such a perfect way of putting it and then you went on to recommend that the hospital developed uh, some information for them, something about things you really need to know if you're sectioned under the Mental Health Act. Yes. And they did it, we recommended that back. I do enjoy working with the Care Quality Commission, the CQC, because um, I believe that together with everyone involved, we can make a difference.